feels strange being back on this channel. Feels weird, but we're doing it. Let me do it. Yo, where's the plan? Devon X cut back and we are in 2020 and everything in 2020 has gone to trash so far except for one thing. We now have a jailbreak for devices running up to 13.5 which is the latest version of iOS at the time of recording this video and I'm super psyched for it. I am very very psyched for it. I love jailbreak and today we're just gonna go over some of the tweaks I have on my phone right now. Some you might want, some you might not want, some may be your taste, some may not be your taste. We're just gonna go through them. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tweaks. And yeah, this is fun. Feels good to be back on this channel. All right, jumping into the first tweak, it's called Shake to Toggle. This essentially gives you a bunch of options you can use to utilize your shake action. So at the top here, you'll see application toggles. I can actually choose open selected application and then choose an application from that list. And once I shake my device, that application would open. So as you can see, once you scroll down here, we have music and video toggles. We get shuffle songs, repeat songs, skip songs, like songs. But I personally skipped all of these features just to enable a toggle for dark mode and you'll see why. So I have a tweak called dark papers which gives you a selection of wallpapers that have a light and dark mode and I just personally like seeing these wallpapers change from light mode to dark mode and I know this is absolutely useless but I really 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 enjoy it. So all I do is shake my phone and it's now in system wide dark mode. I can see my wallpaper change right before my eyes and it's just something cool. It's just something I like to look at and it's just there. I know it have absolutely no use for it. It's just there because I like it. Next up we have Barscape. So if you're someone like me who doesn't really like the home bar, you have the option of switching that bar out with a little up arrow. I know what you would call that. I really like the look of it. You could actually change the image size, make it bigger, make it smaller and you could even enable the pill. So you could choose use pill and now you have like a tiny little home bar. If you wanted something a little more subtle than the home bar, you could have exactly that. Exact time is another one I really like. It's something very subtle, very simple, but it's super effective for me. So if you go to your notifications, instead of seeing 15 minutes ago or 25 minutes ago, you'll actually see the exact time that that notification came in. So you'll see this one came in at 11.06 a.m., this one came in at 12.15 a.m., and you can actually set it to take effect after a certain amount of minutes. So for example, I can set this to 10 minutes, and anything after 10 minutes, I'll get the exact time. Anything before 10 minutes, I'll get the usual 5 minutes ago or 7 minutes ago. And that pretty much is exact time. Floating Dock Plus 13 is one of my must-haves for any jailbroken device running iOS 13. What this does is give you a dock that is essentially what you get on an iPad. So you have a floating dock, you have recent apps once you open and close applications, you'll have the recent app section all the way to the right and it just looks so modern, it looks very not phone-like and I just love how this looks on the home screen. Another cool thing about this is something I noticed recently, you can actually do split-screen multitasking like you can on an iPad with this. I had no idea this was possible, I don't know why it even is possible but it is with floating dock. All you need to do is just have one application that you're using, invoke the dock, slide the app that you want to use in the split screen into that screen and boom now you have two apps working simultaneously not that you'll ever use this but today this also introduces gesture options for the dock so we have a left to right swipe a right to left swipe a swipe up swipe down and a double tap so you can actually set custom actions for those things you can see i just have control center for the left and right and right to left swipe up i have the app switcher swipe down reachability and a double tap locks the device as i scroll down here you can see you also have options for suggested and recent apps inside of that dock and you can actually change the amount of icons allowed in the dock a lot of features this is floating dock plus 13. i can't stress the amount of times I was on bed and my fiance right there and she's sleeping and I need to make a screenshot but my phone not on silent. I just makes the loudest sound in the world and everybody wakes up in the entire house. Silent screenshot fixes that. Yes, if you're hearing that, that is rain because I was shooting that video. Something needed to make noise. But when you jump into the settings of silent screenshot, you can see we can enable a flash color. We can add a custom flash color and we can turn the shutter sound on and off. My settings personally, I just have the shutter sound off and every time you take a screenshot, you get a nice little haptic feedback that is actually better than a sound in my opinion and we're not waking anybody up. I'm not 100% sure how you would pronounce this but I would just call it CITUM for the sake of this video, S-I-T-U-M and what this does, you ever get an email and somebody use a big word and you're not really sure what that word mean? Well, this tweak is here to help you. Just highlight that word scroll across and you'll see a magnifying glass hit that and actually pops up a mini browser that you can actually search research the word get definitions and you can you can pretend to be smart you can pretend to understand what people are saying jailbreak making you smarter every day <laughs> and finally we have snapper 2 so if you ever caught yourself in a situation where you need to remember something that's on the screen and every time you switch apps that piece of information goes away with the app this kind of alleviates that issue so it allows you to take a screen cap of whatever you want to remain on your device 
and you can actually browse the entire iOS interface with that being on a layer above the entire interface. So you keep that there, you keep the information that you need to see right there at all times until you're done with it. And the next cool feature about this that I didn't know was possible, it actually converts text in your image to actual copy and pasteable text, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a lot more jailbreak tweaks on my phone, but these are the ones I tend to use on an almost daily basis. So if you want to see more jailbreak tweaks, you want to see more jailbreak videos, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. If you want to check out my vlog channel, link below in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.